Hello guys and welcome back. So it's been quite a while and a lot has happened with my 3D engine. So I'm going to start off by showing you how it looks today. Let's just run the program. And as you can see here, um, this is the 3D engine and there's a landscape over here with some polygons. And we have uh, three generic blocks here, a uh, square, a prism and a pyramid. And then we have it in a kind of house over here. Uh, you can move around with the keyboard uh, using the WASD commands and then you can change your viewing direction with the mouse. As you can see in the top left there's a FPS that's sitting around 110 right now. Um, and I think that's pretty decent considering I'm only using my CPU and not my GPU for this. Um, also you can turn on and off these black borders around the uh, polygons. Um, by pressing O, as, in, as you can see, it's now a bit looks a lot different. And if you look closely over here, you can see how the light is changing, kind of to replicate a light source. Um, that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna show you how um, the code looks, and I'm also gonna upload the uh, source code so you can play around with it yourself. So here we are. There we go. Um, so I have the different classes as, as you can see out here. I'm just gonna go quickly over what each of them does. The first one starts off is the DDD tutorial, which is the main class. It just creates the JFrame, sets the size, and uh, and creates this screen uh, object or screen class where everything will be running from. Um, so this is where everything is called and the program is run in this paint component. Um, I'm going to co come back to this a bit later. Now the other classes are the D polygon, which pretty much um, is a 3D polygon you create. And inside this D polygon, it will then create a drawable polygon, which is this, the polygon object, which is then a 2D polygon, which can be drawn on the... Um, on the screen. There are some different classes you use to get this. this is the calculator class and the vector and plane class which are some pretty much just math classes to calculate to 3D. And then uh, we also have the pyramid, the prism and the cube classes. Um, and you can create cubes really simply just cubes.add and then the x, y and z coordinate and the width, the length and the height and then the color and that's really all you need to do. Um, up here you have the generate terrain it's being called. This is the landscape that's being created and you can see the classes here. Um, and then you can see down here in the paint component this is where everything gets run and um, camera movement and it all pretty much the comment and, and and makes makes sense what it does. This is all it really takes to make that rotation you see in the um, in the game. So yeah, that's about it. Um, if I need wanted to improve something here, and I, I intend to do, uh, what is drawing down all the um, or what is dragging down all the FPS is this set order class, um, which pretty much pretty much sets um, the order of the polygons to be drawn in, so that the um, polygons don't um, um, get get drawn in front of each other, um, but in the right order. And this it takes a sorting algorithm, which is really uh, sloppy uh, written, I think, <laughs> and it's uh, dragging down the FPS a lot. So that's pretty much what um, I aim to improve, and any help. Uh, from you guys would of course be appreciated. Um, other than that, um, not much uh, to tell. This is a long program, so I'm not gonna go o over every function or every every class. Um, but I'm just gonna run it for one last time, and you can see how it looks both with the borders and without the borders. So yeah, that's it for this um, tutorial, or I guess it isn't really a tutorial. 
but you can see the source code down in the descriptions and have a nice day guys